What's that? Drunken revelers. Let's go back to sleep. Well, they're singing all Lang Syne. Is it midnight? Five and a half hours late. <sighs> it's morning. I've been here all night. Well, you did wake up, but it does back off again. Do we see you in the new year? Oh, I wanted to see you in the new year. <laughs> Happy New Year, love. Happy New Year. You went in for a sec. Now you just got up. Oh, late one. No, no, wait. I'm coming straight back. Aww. Well, I'm glad you went on your own. We didn't even go out. That's why I'm doing the rounds. First time in my life I've stayed up to see the new year in. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Job break. Yeah, if you're having one. I should really start making tracks. I'm working today. Are you sure you're okay? You seem a bit down. No, it's, it's just hard this time of year, you know? It makes me think about my dad. Oh, yeah. Of course. <sighs> you sit down. I'll make these. Have you made any New Year's resolutions? <sighs> One or two, yeah. This is so weird. I haven't got a thumping headache. No puffy skin, no bads under my eyes. I've not felt like this since I was about 11 on New Year's Day. In fact, I think I was about 11 when I swiped the sherry bottle out of my nan's cupboard. Mm. You look gorgeous. Tell me this. Why did we get up? Peter, I'm just now. Come on, let's get Simon and go on a nice big walk. That's what family's doing too. Hey, I love you. You know that, don't you? I love you. Thank you for last night. You were brilliant. Oh, no, stop. Made me head swell. No, I mean it. The stuff you said. Part of me just wanted to get smashed after I saw Haley, but you made me see sense. You're a fantastic husband, you know that. <laughs> Hardly. I bet you'll be glad when this festive season's over, won't you? Temptation everywhere you go, drinking. Ah, well, it's temptation everywhere, every day of the year, love. Oh, uh, take a pew, D. I'm uh, just rustling up my New Year's hangover cure. What's all this? And uh, don't call me D. This little beauty is a 42-inch plasma screen smart TV. Where's it come from? From the shop. We got offered a really good price for it as well, but I said, you know what? No, that would look brilliant in my mum's living room. But it does. Well, you said you wanted a new one. I know, but I didn't. Don't worry about it. It's free. It's just one of the many perks of having us living here. Not exactly stout walking boots you've got on there, Mrs. I don't own a pair of stout walking boots. Anyway, the red wreck, not Kilimanjaro, Simon. This new sensible me stops on my birthday, you know. Oh, what, uh, what do you want to do? Oh. Do not surprise me. Hello. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yeah, all the best. Oh, Happy New Year. Mm. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh, what did you do? Hi, Elfie. Okay. No, we just stayed in, didn't we? Mm. We were just digesting Haley's news, really. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? Are we going to look in on her later? Yeah, I've already been to see her this morning. How's she doing? Um, so-so. She still wants to go to the Robles for a drink later. Mm. <gasps> well, we'll be there, won't we? Ah, I won't miss that for the world. Yeah. Are we going to see these birds? <laughs> Come on. All right. Nice yeah. There you go, love. Thank you. Oh, how did we cope without him? Easily. And we will again once he goes home. Mum, you said he could move in. No, no, no. I said I'd think about it. Well, I've thought about it. And the answer is no. So you can stop trying to smarm around me. I mean, I'll admit there are advantages to him moving in. I like company. It'd be nice to have someone to chip in with the chores, you know, man about the house. Well, exactly. But all this is outweighed by one simple fact. I don't like him. No offence. <laughs> yeah, no, none taken. I'd hate you to think that I'd started to approve of your chosen lifestyle. Oh, you make us sound like a pair of druggies. Anyway, isn't our chosen lifestyle just proof of how committed we are to each other? I think he's a bad influence. 
Well, can't you just put up with him? Do you know what? This is doing wonders for my ego, this is. Oh, good, because that's another thing I don't like about you. You're a vain egomaniac. Right. Well, if he goes, I go. Oh, I have been rumbled. What, so you want me out as well? Hoover's jammed. It's all them party poppers blocking up the pipe. <laughs> There's one or two party poopers and all, wasn't there, Tina? Hey, you! You hardly cracked a smile last night. It was five deep at the bar. I was working. Do you know you wouldn't even link arms for old Lang Syne? I was collecting glasses because we ran out. Hey, is something wrong? No, nothing. You sure? Yes. I speak as I find. That was just rude. Yeah. Well, do you know what? I wouldn't move in with her now. She begged me. Uh, yes, you would, Rob, because beggars cannot be choosers. Yeah. They'd be a good slogan, though. Uh, what can I get you? Uh, pint, please, Tina. Red wine, please. You know, for the business, when we've got ten shops and we're putting an ad on Weatherfield Gold, Barlow's buys where beggars can be choosers. <laughs> I'm joking. <sighs> I just wish I hadn't handed the notice in on my flat now. I can't believe she thinks she's going to be all right living on her own. I mean, she won't last five minutes. You think? You know, perhaps we should start showing her just how miserable it could be. What are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> you sure you want to do this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Even I normally chill on a date like this. Yeah, I just wanted to start the new year on a positive note, you know, especially after last night. Well, what happened? Uh, well, we're working late and... We just left home separately, and I wanted us to be together, you know? We celebrate together. <laughs> All right. We're going to start off with a bit of boxing, yeah? Yeah. It's good for upper body strength and cardio. So we'll start off real simple. Jab, cross. Let's do this. Jab, cross. Come on, don't be a wuss. You can do better than that, yeah? Let's go. <laughs> right, we're going to speed it up, build it into a combination, yeah? We're going to try double jab, cross, left hook, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> left. Okay, left. Let's go. Come on. Oh, left. Yeah. Left, left, left. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, it's this uh, brain injury, you know. It's, it's, it's all right. It happens to all of us, yeah? Just chill. Just try and connect as many punches as you can. Okay? Let's go. Let's try jab cross. <laughs> right, uh... You grab a seat, love. I'll get these. Oh, OK. I think I deserve a little red wine after my abstemious New Year. <laughs> mm. Hey, hi. Uh, right, I'll have, a, I'll have a red wine and an orange juice, please. Okay. Hey, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Did you have a good one? Yeah, well, I was working. All <laughs> uh, right. Oh, I need to uh, book you in for a bit of babysitting later this week. No. But... Are you okay? Do you need five minutes? I'll take over. All right, do you mind if I take a break now? No? Yeah, go Thanks. On. Thanks. What's going on? Tina, you've been acting funny since you got here. It's Peter Barlow, isn't it? I thought I could handle it. But seeing him, it, it just threw me. I mean, how can he act like nothing's happened? <sighs> what has happened? Oh, Liz, it's a nightmare. Tina. <sighs> oh, please tell me you haven't slept with him. Feelings for him. You know, I, I hate women who sleep with married men. But he just brings out the worst of me, you know? He, all my ideas about what's right and what's wrong he just flew right out the window. I even lied to Fizz this morning. And I told her the reason why I'm feeling down is because it's this time of year that my dad died. 
So go on. Shout at me. Tell me what a horrible cow I am. Homewrecker. Adulterer. Because I'm all them things, Liz. I'm not whiter than white. Hey, I have made plenty of stupid mistakes when it comes to men. I can't tell you how to live your life. Well, I wish you would. Because I feel absolutely disgusted in myself. But it's Peter who's really in the wrong. He's a married man and much older than oh, you. Don't, don't say he'd take advantage of me because he didn't. I mean, I wanted him more than I ever wanted anyone else in my life. Oh, that's what he wanted you to feel. You're not the first woman to fall for Peter Barlow's charms and you certainly won't be the last. It was crazy. Now I've got to make sure that it never happens again. Hey, off his bum. I thought she'd be here by now. Who? Hayley. I wish she'd come in. She might not be up to it. Yeah, well, I didn't think she was. Should we, uh, should we grab a table? Well, she likes the booze, doesn't she? But trouble is, they're all full. I'm just getting to move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, there they are. Mm -hmm. Hiya. Hi. Come on. Oh, thanks. You kept us waiting, didn't you? No. I've got more layers on than Ranulph Fines. <laughs> it's like the North Pole out there. Precisely. Do you know what you're catching your chill? At least to me worries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's lovely to see you, Hayley. What can we get you to drink? Oh, um, oh, just, just mm -hmm. orange juice, please, Michelle. Thanks. That's Oh, 10 k sounds a long way. Yeah, but it'd be something to aim for. Happy New Year, boys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, we've been working out. Oh, on New Year's Day. How'd it go? Yeah, it was good. I just need a decent set of nun trucks. Yeah, well, next week you'll be doing flying kicks, 10 feet in the air. <laughs> uh, you hungry? Uh, no, I'm cool, actually. I'll just have an espresso single. Uh, I've made that too. <laughs> oh, no, it won't be a sale. I've just got to get this. Seem very pally. Yeah. I like him, you know, he's good. Good. You OK? Oh, this just feels really weird. It's like we've split up. Yeah, but we haven't. We're giving ourselves some space and time now, and we've been to this. Grant thinks we will do eventually. So, you're taking relationship advice off Gloria? Or I could just move back in. Anyway, this, this nurse, Harry, that came. Palliative care nurse. Yeah, she's lovely, isn't she? Very nice. Well, she was about 10. Hmm? Well, blimey, she, she knows her stuff and she's really straight with you. Oh, blimey, I'm right. boiling now. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I should have ordered something stronger. I'm uh, just going to nip for a ciggy, love. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Drink anywhere else for a change. Well, that's easier said than done. Well, it looks pretty effortless from where I'm standing. I mean, you swan in, you order drinks, you start chatting like nothing's happened. So, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to go public? <sighs> huh? Well, oh, come on, then let's announce it to the oh, whole bar. Oh, stop well, it! Why not? We may as well, the way you're acting. What do you want me to do? <sighs> Carla wanted to see Hayley, it's our local. Uh, well, I can't pretend that nothing happened. No, and I feel guilty. You know, I feel just as bad as you do about what happened. But what happened the other night was your doing just as much as it was right, my yes, doing, Yes, and it right? was wrong, and it cannot happen again, ever. Uh, Understood? I think you've been a bit hasty. <laughs> you know, I have never felt so ashamed in all my life. This needs to end, Pia. I mean, I don't want an affair. I don't want to break your marriage up. I, I just wish I never met you. Hey. <sighs> You're wrong when you say this is easy for me. Walking in here, ordering a drink, making small talk with you guys, it's torture. Just stay away from me. Please. I do miss Ken, but Rob is bad news. He's just not good for Tracy. Do you want another one in there? Go on. Um, look, can I ask your opinion on something? Fire away. One of the things that's been suggested to me uh, for my recovery, you know, is seeing a therapist. You probably think it's for wusses. <laughs> no. Look, a lot of my clients swear by it. 
It's not like lying on a couch talking about your relationship with your mum. Mm. Pay good money not to do that. <sighs> the professional counselling might be able to help you get to the bottom of things. According to Emily, the worst thing about living on your own is not about being lonely, it's about being scared. So we need to tap into that fear and exploit it. What are you doing? I'm breaking in. What? I know your mum's a nightmare, but I don't think we should vandalise her house. We need to make her feel vulnerable and scared. That way she'll think twice about living on her own. What? You're mad. A timely break-in will make her question everything, but we've got to be quick. So it's a bit risky, Trace. Well, no-one's gonna know it's us. All right, so, so what do you suggest? We... we trash the place? <laughs> <laughs> Just... I don't know, smash a few ornaments and knock the chairs over. I'll phone her and make out we came home and disturbed them. All right, all right. But I'm smashing one of her pots. I mean, did they think I was born yesterday? Trying to butter me up with a, a cooked breakfast and a telly. A telly? They got you a telly? Yeah, from the shop. But they show no respect. Rob calls me D and wanders round in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, if it was him... <laughs> might be a different matter. <laughs> oh. Hello. When she gets here, take control, comfort her, make her feel safe that you're around. <laughs> you're totally evil. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. What's happened? There's, uh, there's been a break in. Kids, three of them. Rob had to chase them down the ginnel. No. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I didn't catch them, unfortunately. Otherwise, they'd be in hospital, not hawking your valuables around town. My planter! I know. I'm going to ring the police. Moving back in. Uh, well, who have you been talking to now? Nick, I can't do it. I can't live somewhere else. I feel like I've abandoned you. We're doing this for good reasons. Yeah, so. I know it's not going to be easy. But you've started seeing Carl and you're going to have some therapy. And, well, you're doing everything you can, so I'm going to do everything I can. And I've made up my mind. There you are. Oh, thank you. There you go. Look, t to be honest with you, I mean. I'm surprised you haven't been done over before. We're always turning away stolen gear from the shop, aren't we? Oh, every day. Yeah, I mean, these kids, right, they they come in, we, we'll phone the police, they'll go away for a while, and, and then they'll just they'll come back again. They don't seem to have taken much. Well, they didn't have a chance well, to, I just think the main thing us. is you're safe. I mean, imagine if you'd come back and yeah. disturbed them, though. One of you against four of them. I mean, it, it could have turned ugly, couldn't it? I thought you said there were three of them. Oh, well, it, it's all a, a bit of a blur, to be honest. Do you know what? I think there were two of them. A man and a woman in the 30s. I've seen them hanging around the place looking very suspicious. It was you, wasn't it? Mum, I can't believe you're accusing me. I'm your own daughter. What a dirty trick. No, listen, Mum, I swear to you, this has nothing to do with us. OK. He can stay. What? But you're paying me rent. Oh. And proper rent, not just a few quid here and there. And there will be rules, yeah. house rules, yeah. set by me and followed by you. And if you mess me about, you're out on your ear. OK? Fine. Right, we well, can start by mending that broken glass. Oh. <sighs> oh, it's nice to see her out. Yes, I, I, I'm glad she insisted. She had a lovely time. I don't know how you do it, Roy. I couldn't cope. Hey, it is the one to be admired. Come on now. Let's get you home. Get the huskies and sledge at the ready, Roy. <laughs> oh, right. There we are. Yeah. Oh, I've enjoyed myself. <laughs> Good. Shall no. no, we? Yeah. Should we get off and off? Yeah, I'm just going to nip to the loo first. <laughs> Too much orange juice. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Blimey, Liz, you could have knocked. Huh? I just wanted a word with you in private. Oh, okay. Part of my job as landlady is to look after my staff. I have to, when there's men like you around, who really take advantage of a lovely young barmaid like Tina. I, I have no idea what you're talking about, Liz, really. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You have got a beautiful new wife out there and you're sleeping with a girl half your age. I mean it, Peter. <laughs> Leave her alone, or you will have me to answer to. a new family ready to stir up trouble on the Costa Blanca coast. Set a date for brand new Benidorm tomorrow at nine. The next our Harry Potter season comes to an end. It's the final battle in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two.